What everybody, I think, understands and knows about organic is that we don't use pesticides, we don't use artificial fertilisers, um, very restricted use of antibiotics and so on. And that's what people think organic is. Um, and it is about that, but it's about a whole raft of other things. Our organic system is a holistic system and we're looking at the welfare of every part of that. So it's actually the welfare of the animals, but funny enough, it's the welfare of the soil, it's the welfare of the environment as well. And we need, for example, the, the cows in that system to produce their waste, which feeds the soil. Therefore, the soil is in good health, produces healthy crops, which then feed the cows. So it's very much a symbiotic relationship. And that is very different to the conventional system, which is utterly dependent on chemicals and fertilizers. As a family, we farmed here since 1882. I'm the fourth generation. Farming is just a passion, it's, it's in my blood. Um, the farm is called Woodhorn Farm and, and we call ourselves the Woodhorn Group. When I first started converting the farm to organics, I think a lot of people thought I was completely crazy. But it all came right for me when I was at a, um, at a party and a lady who I hadn't met asked me what I, what I did and I said, oh, I'm a farmer. And she said, oh, you farmers, you, you're, you're uh, spreading pesticides and fertilizers all over the place. And I said, oh, but I'm, I'm an organic farmer. And she went, oh my God, that's wonderful. Threw her arms around me, gave me a great big hug. <laughs> Dairy is the central part of the farm because without the manures and so on that the cows produce, you cannot have organic farming. We have calves born every year from the moment that an animal is born. From that point on, its welfare is our primary concern and everything comes first in terms of welfare. And that is the difference between organic farming and conventional farming. The drive for cheaper and cheaper prices from the supermarkets is meaning that farms have to become more and more intensive and that threatens the welfare of the animal. In the organic system, we're asking consumers to pay a little bit more to help us look after the animals and protect their welfare. Farming is challenging. Organic farming is just that much more challenging because we don't have the full back, the protection of the chemicals, fertilizers and antibiotics and so on. A good example of that is that the crops we're growing for the cows, for example, the wheat and the barley, they can get huge amounts of disease in a wet year. A conventional farmer can spray for that and control that disease. We can't, we just have to work with nature. That's what we want to do, but it's not always easy. We have failures and we have successes in, in uh, farming organically, um, more so than we ever did conventionally. But I love the, the, the way we're farming now, which is a bit like we were farming 100 years ago, but with the benefits of modern machinery and so on, which takes some of the, the grind out of it. But it's a niche market. We're, we're growing for a small number, but a growing number of consumers who value food and are prepared to pay a little bit more, not just for the fact that they may feel it's better for them, but actually the way it's produced, the way the animals are looked after, the way the environment's looked after and so on. Um, as I say, it's a challenge, but we think it's worth it. I'm passionate about how we farm organically, and I'd hate to go back to uh, farming conventionally using artificial fertilizers and pesticides. Uh, at Woodhorn, we're really committed to farming in the most sustainable way possible. And the great thing is I think there's more and more people who are actually seeing that for themselves and willing to pay an extra few pence for a pint of organic milk. <laughs>